Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to another exciting episode of Lawrence playing Factorio Angel Bobs. In the last episode, I um, built up this extension to my um, base, up, or to my claim territory up here, to get hold of this Gvolite ore patch and this uh, natural gas supply here. Um, I also built up some um, ammunition building down here, so we've got a gentle trickle of, of red piercing ammunition coming through here and joining into the, um, the general supply coming out of here. Let's have a look. I see it's an interestingly right. Okay, so my um, my iron supply from the top here is now completely run out, which is why these um, there's no more yellow ammunition being produced, um, because well, basically because I only had a temporary supply coming in from this station here, and now I've switched it to this one down here. So um, I've got lots and lots of iron here, as we can see. So that's going quite nicely. I think what I'm going to do now is start spreading the um, the iron around a little bit more, so I can get a bit more coming through here so a, a fast stream coming in here for the um for the steel and probably for this um uh for the uh, normal ammunition here as well i might redesign this whole thing actually because it's um it's a bit rubbish at the moment but as you can as you can clearly see the um producing piercing ammunition is very expensive in in iron copper and steel so i'm go it's going to take quite a lot of resources coming in there <clears throat> So the reason I was building up here was so I could get this Jeeva light patch, and from there hopefully start getting um, getting in, into producing the other other whichever the other thing was I needed for brass. I forget which one that was now, to be quite honest with you. Um, I think it might have been zinc, um, and that was going to probably come from the Jeeva light. But first, I'm just going to tweak my um, defences up here a little bit because I'm aware that there's quite a big biter nest up here, and yeah, I don't, I don't want them to get through. So, yeah, I could start on this Jeevalite patch here. Um, I'm going to very quickly refresh my memory on how to how to make um, brass because it's been a couple of it's been several days since I've played Factorio. But I'll uh, I'll stop talking so you, so I can go through this very very quickly. Right. So crushed Jeevalite purified water makes chunks, makes all of those. So that's probably quite that's that's a good one. That was one that was probably what I wanted to do. So let's. Oh, I don't know. Do I have any of the stuff with me to actually start building a mine up here? No, I have absolutely no miners. Okay, so I'm going to need to head back to base anyway. So let's get the, let's get that ammunition supply done that I was talking about earlier, and then I'll start working worrying about the uh, these other supplies. Okay, so I think the best way to do this would be to have um, would be to arrange it sort of more vertically and have the yellow yellow assemblers first, and then have them feed, just feeding onto a belt and run the red assemblers off it. So I don't need to worry about sort of funny funny shapes like this. Um, so there's no probably no point in ripping it all up and starting again. Um, but I'll start. So I'll just start building it here. As usual, these cliffs are going to get in the way. Um, what's a good way to do this? Uh, put some more of these. If I do that, I can run this around here like this, and this will hopefully keep the whole thing reasonably compact. You know, as I say, apart from the cliffs. So I need three times as many reds as I do um, yellows in order to keep it balanced, because they take three times as long. Uh, so that's... How many am I missing? One, two, three, four, five. I'm missing five from there. Okay, that should should work, I think. <laughs> um, of course, why well, I say should work, I mean would work if it wasn't for all these cliffs. Let's do that instead. In fact, let's just use a splitter here. No, let's put the splitter in. Here, because that looks nice, ne neater and tidier. Right, so from here, steel and copper in like that. The iron, I'm going to pull from down below from the um, from my nice new smeltery down here because there isn't enough. There isn't enough. There is basically there isn't enough iron coming in from that Jeeva light patch up top. So I need to have it coming in from somewhere else. And this is where it's all coming from at the moment. So seems like a good place. Do that, like this. And I can go back across next to the steel. There. Um, this isn't going to work, is it? I need... Because th there's three components... Oh, 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 goodness sake. Um, there's three components required for um, armor piercing ammunition, not two. So I'm going to need to have another belt in there. Rats. Uh, right, so these can, I guess, unload onto another belt over here. Up 
here. Right, let's give that a try, see if I've made any stupid mistakes this time. <clears throat> what what am I even doing? I that's terrible. <laughs> um I don't even know what I was thinking there. So oh, obviously what I'm meant to do here is have this come in here or here I suppose. Oh maybe I meant to put oh no, I meant to put the ammunition on the other side. That's what I that's where I went wrong there. Okay, that makes sense now. Planning is difficult, especially when you're just generally terrible. <laughs> yeah, I got my belts the wrong way around then and put the um had the ammo out putting onto the belt I meant to put the steel and copper onto and the copper up and then the others on the other one. Yeah, so it all went onto the same belt. Let's try that again. Now what I think I'm most impressed about here is there still isn't enough steel coming through for all of this. I've completely removed the iron from being a, um, a restraint. I've got almost exactly the right amount of iron, that's quite impressive. Not quite enough, because it's only getting eight of the machines, or well, seven and a half of the machines, not eight. Um, but there's a good stream of the yellow ammunition coming through, but there's no steel, not enough steel, not by a long shot, despite it all being all the out, despite all the output of the uh, Jeevalite mine as far as steel goes, going straight into that. Um, what was going on here? No, stop that. Right, that's that all picked up again. And uh, now I can delete all of this. Cause I'm not going to build down here now. On that. Okay, well that didn't go particularly well. Um, <laughs> I could, from here, I could take the whatever's left on this iron belt and feed that into the um, into the steelery up here. I might as well. It'll ba it'll keep itself all balanced. There'll always be enough for the ammunition being produced because that gets first first dibs at it if you like. And anything spare can be just dumped in along here, like that. <clears throat> we'll see how that gets on. I don't even know if it's worth wiring all of this up because there's so much, um, so little steel coming through. It's all just getting eaten up by the um, by the first by the first few, by the first one or two of the first column. So that's fairly poor. Um, I shall turn this round though, run it upwards like this, because then I can feed it back into the belts I had from before. And that way, all of this will still get pumped back round into to, round to all the turrets. So that's quite good. What's going on here? Oh. I suppose what I should be doing here is building up more, more of these um, smelters, whatever they are, chemical, the chemical furnaces. So let's build some more of those. Another five, so, and just extend this system upwards. They're in pairs where they oh for the power. All right. Oh, I see why they need to be. Yeah. Unless no, I could just put them on the other side now. But now I've got real. This again, but better. Now that I can use a slightly bigger version of the power poles, I can just drop them in like this and they'll power everything. I do still need to worry about um, oxygen though. Mm, that's not going to get any, is it? No. Uh, maybe I should have left things as they were a bit. Pull that tank out actually. Let's see where we get on. And that tank can go down here at the bottom so I can keep an eye on how much oxygen I'm producing. That looks quite balanced actually. It's staying reasonably still. Um, although yeah, none of these are actually working. Oh, goodness sake. I'm really fed up with the um, not being able to tell whether it's whether I'm putting down long-handled or short-handled inserters. There we go. That one isn't plumbed. How can I plumb that one in? Um, not convinced I can. Oh well. <clears throat> Still big improvement. So what are you short of? Iron plates. All right. Oh, it's, okay. So even with the um, all the rest of the iron coming in from here, still not enough coming down for these for these furnaces. Even though I'm using yellow belts most of the way down, to, until after it doesn't matter anymore. There's still barely enough coming through. Oh well, it's, it's going quite well. I'm just going to leave that. Okay, now back to my previous plan. So there was that um, Jeeva light mine I wanted to invest. I wanted to try and set up. Uh, so let's go and where did I put that? Yeah, there we go. There's my uh, dumping ground. Let's go and see if I've got any um, any drills in there and get rid of all these weapons and things I'm carrying that I don't need at the moment. Not that one. That one. Okay, so miners. And belts, I think I'm going to need, because I always do. And splitters. Splitters? Splitters. And power pole. How many power pole? Oh, yeah, loads of those. Okay, that should be enough to get me going. Oh, and I could actually build those roads I keep talking about as well. Make it a bit easier to, or a bit quicker to drive around the base area. <laughs> Maybe if I signposted my roads well enough, I'd stop driving into things as well. I don't know. <laughs> Unlikely, I guess. I'm going to need to blow my way through these uh, trees, I think, before I can build a road. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, here we are back at the G Light Patch. Clear that out as well in the fastest possible way. <clears throat> well, how else do you clear a forest? It's just a shame I haven't got nuked yet. There we go, one G Light Patch. So, if I um, if I bring the G Light across to the right and then have a balancer here and then bring it down and I can put a station in about here, then there's probably room for a line to come in, break off, break it back on, loop around and come back again. So, I think, yeah, that's probably, probably the... Um, Nicest way to do it. It occurs to me that 50 of these is never enough. <coughs> I obviously need to increase the number in my, um, in the, uh, I need to improve my ability to finish sentences. I need to increase the number of, um, miners we produced to about 100, because I think, yeah, twice as many would be okay, but as it is, it's just not enough. Yeah, I think that's going to be as far down as I go. Another one on the end there, but never mind. Four coming out. Oops, let's not do that. So I need a four to two splitter. No, let's make it a four to four actually. Four to four balancer. One of them. Go about there. I think there's probably room there. And then if we just copy this station from, and yeah, no, that's the wrong way round. So the train's pointing the wrong direction. That's that one. That's pointing the wrong direction as well. What about this one? <coughs> yeah, that'll do. Be that yeah I know I've gone very quiet while I'm doing all of this but to be honest there's not really that much to say about it uh, oh front of steel um, this is largely just the basic standard building up of stuff that you've uh, seen me do plenty of times before so I don't think there's really any point in me going over it in any nauseating and nauseating levels of detail because you all know exactly what I'm doing I'm just building up an, an, a standard standard train train stop or the usual sort of loading stations and then running a line back to the um, rest of my train network so the trains can go in and out. I suppose I should be talking a bit more about my sort of general plans for what I'm doing at the moment. So once I've got, once, yeah, as, as I've been saying, once I've got the um, the Jeeva light coming in reliably, I can then start to um, link it up to the uh, I can start turning it into Jeeva like chunks, which apparently I can then turn into lots and lots of different types of ore. And hopefully, with those all those different types of ore available, I'm going to be able to start making a slightly wider variety of things. Because the big problem the stations have at the moment, sure, the yellow inserters are fine for actually loading up the um, the normal boxes, um, especially stuff the um, supplies don't resources don't come in all that quickly from, from the mines, and there's plenty there tends to be plenty of time available. Um, between between trains arriving, but when the train does arrive, you want to be able to load it up as quickly as possible, and that means having the stack inserters in there, or at the very least, fast inserters, because otherwise you're just spending ages sitting there waiting for it to. Oops. The train spends ages sitting there waiting for the um, supplies to arrive. So the train ends up sitting there for ages waiting for the supplies to get loaded in, and that makes an enormous difference to the sort of the throughput of your entire network. Because if the train's waiting and it's taking ages to get, to get loaded up in the station, or unloaded at the other end, then oh, run out of rails. If it's taking forever to get to, um, to to actually get the trains loaded and unloaded, then it really seriously limits your throughput because you have to um, rely rely on the trains being out of the. Oh, for sake. You have to rely on the trains being out of the way quickly enough for the next train's supply for the next train to get in and unload its supplies. Otherwise, you get massive breaks in how much. Um, which whatever you need, you're bringing. <laughs> Doubt if my driving is actually accurate enough to follow that road. <laughs> Rails, that one. That's a lot. And I think I need more. Oh, it was steel I needed for the uh, train stop. But I think I need iron, just on general principles. That's quite interesting. Now with the um, the extra demand I've put on the iron supplies from having all that ammunition being built, this actually isn't really coping isn't really keeping up very well it's um they the uh the backlog is being pulled through that's quite interesting so i think i am going to have to expand those um iron smelting facilities down there if i'm going to be using it up at the rate i am it's more stone i've used half it up already right so i freed up a nice straight line through here there we go that stops about the right time excellent and this saves me from driving up between the rails all the time which is because i've been putting power poles there so that's dangerous and radars as well sometimes. It's a good place to put the power poles though, I think. Maybe the answer is to put the rails far enough apart that you can drive between them and put the power between them. Oh, I didn't get more miners. Damn it. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, that goes there. One of them there. There we go. Another nice power grid. And lots of mustard yellow rocks coming out. Excellent. Alright, let's call this give this a better name before it before a train turns up but shouldn't. Um what yellow is green and red, isn't it? Yes, there we go. And of course we drop in a, a, a train here. Boom. <laughs> Somehow I seem to have managed to reset my um uh, my what do you call these things? Um, achievements, yet again. I think it's because I was fiddling around with the mods uh, recently. Right, uh, I now need to make, make a, a Jeevalite drop-off point as well, of course. And I, Oh, and I need to scatter some signals around as well, otherwise I'm going to have problems fairly soon. So, down here, railway line split, that means scatter signals everywhere, like this. There we go. Down here, there's another split in them as well. So, we want a chain signal here, and here. And then we want normal signals on all the sort of the, the exits, as it were, like that. Uh, actually, that should be a chain signal. There we go. And the sig my signals aren't dense enough. I should be putting more of them in than this, really, um, because they should be um, they should be every train length, as I think I've said before, uh, just to ensure maximum throughput of the rail network. But at this point, it doesn't really matter because because um, I don't have enough trains on the network. In order for it, to, for it to get for it to actually get filled up to that sort of level. Okay, so I've got a reasonable amount, I've got lots of space here, uh, so I can either I could just, probably the best thing to do here is just to skip over this um, this ammo belt here and have my next station just on the south side of it. So in this sort of big area here, um, and that'll mean I could, I've got I don't need to worry about. Um, expanding if, if, the, if I need to expand the iron later. In fact, that's something I do need to do in order to balance the uh, the trains that are coming in. I need to have another some more um, crushers and so on, and then some more rows of these of these um, smelting facilities. And I need to build the smelting facilities up as well because they're not currently producing enough iron. Well, actually, uh, they are. Both belts are essentially full coming out. Um, possibly some um, belt balancers would be a good idea on some of these. It's interesting. I was, I thought I'd built an actual, a properly balanced balancer system here, but these two are obviously not being used as much as all the rest of them because they've got massive backlogs. Maybe I just don't really know what I'm doing. That's quite possible. Just don't have 43. Okay, I'm going to need a lot more. Um, if I am going to extend this, and actually I'm thinking at the moment I'm not going to bother. It's it's good enough as it is. There's there's enough. Um, there is enough iron coming through. I might put some balance, belt balancers on, uh, lane balancers on some of these actually. Uh, how do I even? Let's see that goes there, 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 there. There we go. No, there. These are a nice simple trick. What they do is they um, they split the belt and then feed once and then feed the two lanes of the belt from from um, from the splitter. So you can be sure that um, e even if you've got something like this where you've got a lot more iron being used from one side than the other, the consumption will be taken from. Well, if, if the consumption is more on one side than it is on the other, then it'll um, it'll balance it out so that you're you're put still pulling from both sides a bit, so you don't get this sort of massive backlog on one side and not on the other. And it makes sure that if if even if your usage down the line is is imbalanced, you still get to use all of your all of your furnaces to produce the um, the resources you need. Okay. Okay. So I've got that iron flowing nicely now. I think, and I think this is probably quite a good time to stop the episode because the next thing to do is going to be sorting out the um, the Jeevalite production and turning that from the the Jeevalite ore which I'm getting from the mine way up north into goodness knows what. It's going to be a long and complicated process and it's going to spit out about a million different products by the end of it, I'm sure. So I think that probably deserves its own episode because it's going to be quite a big job. So in the interest of that, I think I'm going to call the episode here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.